a rain shower about 10 minutes ago where the whole sky turned dark. Um, but this is in St. Thomas and the sun has come out again. So we're gonna get some towels and we're gonna head over to the beach. of St. Thomas here on our 10-day cruise and it's the first out of our five ports of call that we have on this 10-day cruise. So we are actually docked at Havensite, um, which there are two, to my knowledge, two um, uh, cruise ports that are here in St. Thomas. One is Crown Bay and the other is Havensite and Havensite is the more common. It's great. There's a lot of shops right at Havensite and things to do right nearby. Um, but what we're most likely going to do is head over to Megan's Bay Beach before. It is just a stunning bay, a stunning beach. We're gonna head over there and then we are going to go into Charlotte O'Malley and the town and do a little bit of shopping and looking around and maybe stop at a bar a little bit for a bushwhacker. So follow us along, see what we do. And I'll also give you a few other tips of what you might be able to do when you're in St. Thomas um, as well, because we've been here before and it's really a great port and there's almost nothing that you can do that won't be enjoyable and beautiful for your day.
this is my friend from Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always sunny here. It's uh, uh, in Scotland. In Scotland. It's okay. Cold. It could be cold. Yes, but this Scotland is, is quite perfect. Yes, this is a good Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> so we are in Megan's Bay now in St. Thomas. It's absolutely gorgeous. That's okay. And we're having fun on our cruise. Um, there's actually been a touch of rain here and there, but it's like the sunny Caribbean rain so it's totally been fine maybe a little bit frizzy on the hair but overall really really good and now i am having a wonderful drink so it's a bbc so having this here frank and ethan are having their coronas and we're having just a super relaxed beach day at megan's bay so to head over to Megan's Bay, you can take a shore excursion with the ship if you like, but you could also go on your own and it's pretty easy to do so. You can take a cab over or an open air style shuttle. The price that we paid was actually $8 a person. And then there's also an entrance fee, which was $5 a person to enter into Megan's Bay. Now, if you want to rent um, umbrellas or lounge chairs, you can do so. You'll actually just head in here um, just over at the bar and the restaurant, there is a little kind of gift shop and that's where you're able to rent your chairs. Something to mention is that you will have a deposit to pay on your lounge chair. So for instance, if your lounge chair is $8, an additional $5 is going to be asked for, but it is actually refunded to you when you return your chair. So we've had an awesome day in St. Thomas. We spent um, the day at Megan's Bay. It was just beautiful. The water's actually so clear and calm, and it really makes, honestly, the most beautiful water. Um, we had a great day ordering from the bar and having some lunch there. Now we're heading back to the ship after doing a little bit of shopping, just in heaven sight. So I do suggest that if you do have any jewelry in mind, this is a great place to come and see uh, what you like, we're heading back to the ship now on the Crown Prince. So we are in day four of our cruise and this is what I'm wearing. It's again, a smart casual night and I apologize for the lighting because it's just not great in the cabin, but I did want you to still see what I'm wearing. And this is smart casual. I'm really wearing a very sort of casual dress um, that to me looks a little bit nautical. I don't know if you can see, it's navy with a little bit of a red stripe. Um, 
So this is the idea. I'm really wearing casual shoes. These are my wedges. I just think that they're kind of cute and I've been able to wear them. Sometimes I wear them with pants. Sometimes I wear them with jeans and other times I can even wear them with shorts. So those are kind of like go-to just Calvin Klein neutral um, wedge shoes that I find take our little touch. They're not really fancy, but because of the gold, they're kind of cute in my opinion. So, and I just wanted to also show you, this is something that I wear. Um, I keep a wristlet and I just have, um, it's very, very simple. My um, Michael Kors wristlet. And this is really what I wear every night, except for sometimes on the formal nights, I have a black beaded um, bag. And I just like my black beaded bag and I've had it for years and years and years. Uh, and my mother-in-law gave it to me and I love it. So I use that for the formal nights. But for other nights, I just like this little wristlet where I keep my lip gloss, a couple of Advil, because you never know when you get a headache. Um, and you know, like a couple of cards or whatever I need. And sometimes I can even put my phone in it. So that's super handy. I do have the Ocean Medallion wristband because of course I'm on a princess cruise. And this has been super handy and practical. You can even go in the water. We were at the beach today in Megan's Bay in St. Thomas and that was perfect. So let me go over the jewelry. Very, very simple. I am wearing um, some little drop earrings. These are cubic zirconia. I don't bring a lot of real uh, jewelry with me on a cruise. I bring a few things that I really like, but I don't bring too much that's real uh, or very, very expensive. So I don't have to really worry about it. But these I find are quite cute little drop earrings. They are in white gold. This is a simple, um, white gold chain that I have with little simple stones and I'm wearing that. I don't really like very large jewelry on my neck, but that's me. Um, I am wearing this ring I picked up. Again, I just decided to wear this, um, this sort of blingy type of ring. And this is a little bit different. It is my Savorsky, um, bracelet. It's a different Savorsky bracelet that Frank got for me a few years ago and I just find this super cute. And again, my Eternity Band, which is like my favorite, and my grandmother's vintage ring, which again is something that I just love to wear. So that is what I'm wearing to dinner tonight um, on our cruise. And again, I'll, uh, I'll try to post some pictures in these videos of what Frank is wearing and what Ethan's wearing so you can see all of us during this cruise. Thank you so Hi. much. Hi. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. So we're heading into the main dining room now, and this is Michelangelo's. So we just sat down, and um, the menu actually, uh, Ravi was telling us that the menu is something really, really good this evening. So we'll give it a try. Um, he is recommending, and I'll, I'll link a blog post uh, below as soon as I have it. So if it's not there right now, it will be there later. So do take a look or take a look on lifewellcruise.com and I will link um, photos um, in a blog post below with the menus. And so he was recommending the chili spiced um, Szechuan shrimp, which I wouldn't have thought of, but I am gonna give it a try because it kind of sounds good. And I think he also recommended the appetizer, which is called Aruba's Carnival Celebration, which includes calamari um, and, and a tomato sauce with basil. So we'll let, we'll take some photos and um, hopefully we'll like it. But if not, there's always something to eat. The food's been excellent. So Frank ordered a gazpacho tonight. Let's see how that is. All right, it's a cold soup again. Okay. Try it out. And I, but it's not a sweet soup. No, and I believe it's very spicy, and it's it may be like a Caribbean style or Puerto Rican or something. So I'm gonna try this out, and I think there's jalapenos in there, so I have to be careful. Okay, so It'll see what high. you think. All right. It's actually good. Oh, is it? It is spicy, but it's good. Well, you've like, had gazpacho before. Is it yeah. as good, better? Yeah, I think it tasted better, but it, I'd say it's a pretty good one, though. Okay, good yeah. to know. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to eat the whole thing, though, but I'll, I'll eat a little bit of it to try it out. It's still okay. good. It's tasty. To me, honestly, I'd rather eat that than the pina colada soup. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's better than the pina colada soup. How's your fettuccine alfredo, just while we're at it? I haven't tasted it yet. Okay. <laughs> so I guess I have to taste it, though.
very windy. We were actually supposed to be in Antigua this morning and unfortunately just because of the gale force winds and really the very rough seas, as much as it's quite beautiful, hot and sunny in some ways, it actually wasn't a good idea to, um, to go into Antigua because of uh, safety issues. So the captain did announce that we would not be stopping in Antigua. We'd have a sea day instead. So as much as some people are disappointed, and, and of course we are disappointed as well, we wanted to go into Antigua. We had a really nice tour um, that we had scheduled uh, by Jeep and to visit the beach and Nelson's dockyard. So we were looking forward to that. But of course, um, when something is canceled for safety reasons, these are things that happen. And of course we completely understand. So now we have a sea day. And uh, what we've done this morning is we've done a little bit of a ship tour. So please do look out for that video to see a full ship tour of the Crown Princess. And now we are um, having some lunch by the pool and um, I guess enjoying the sunny but windy day. of our cruise and tonight I decided to actually go very very casual um, now in the dining room on princess uh, when it is smart casual you can actually wear jeans as long as they're not ripped and they're nice and honestly if I was at home and if I was at a restaurant I would certainly go um, in something like this which I think is a cute outfit personally um, but I really did feel like kind of keeping it casual we had a day where we just spent a lot of time by the pool and had some drinks and I'm just not feeling like wearing um, maybe a dress and maybe anything too tight. So I'm wearing just a loose flowy top um, and I'm wearing dark jeans, which personally I just find are a little more flattering than lighter jeans. And I always find they look a little bit more put together. Um, I'm wearing also very, very casual shoes, little comfy wedges, but they're gold and I like bringing them on a cruise because the fact that they're gold, I just find that if I do want to wear them um, in the evening time, to me, I feel like they just look a little more put together than if they were maybe something like, well, not gold. So I like them. And then I also could wear them during the day because they're still, of course, very casual. In terms of jewelry, um, I'm just wearing my regular rings tonight, like my regular engagement ring and my three stone ring. Um, on my other hand, I'm actually just keeping it to my regular eternity band and I do have a bangle, uh, that I just think is really pretty and, um, with some crystals in it. And I decided to go with gold, um, up here. So I'm just wearing some gold hoops, just something super simple. And I'm wearing a very thin chain with, um, a little gold ham saw that I have uh, with some stones in it that I just kind of feel good in. So keeping it casual tonight, this is what we are wearing, you will see, I'll include some pictures of Frank and I uh, in this video, and then you can see how we look all together, but he's in jeans too. we're doing um, after dinner so we are actually watching a movie tonight and it is Downton Abbey and we're watching a movie outdoors for movies under the stars now the other choice of entertainment there was more than one or two but was um, a show in the theater I think it was called blame it on the boogie yeah. and so like the singers and dancers and it's um, a main production show um, but being honest when I saw Downton Abbey was um, playing outdoors and we just wanted kind of a cozy relaxing evening we decided to do this so that's what we are doing tonight but of course um, on the cruise everybody can do kind of what they want so there were quite a few things happening around the ship 